Hello and welcome to a new Unreal Engine video and today is going to be a bit of a short one and it's going to be a bit of a very informative one I feel like. So when we work with the databases right we have like data assets and we have one data asset and it has like the map inside the primary data asset right with like the values and then we have the finds. Well what if there was an easier way right what because i found that the problem was that i wanted to basically copy a lot of the settings from one of these like one of these entries um you know in the maps basically but when you create them in the maps you can't copy and paste them because like you know if 90 percent of the settings are all the same but you just want to change a few things well that's not really possible with the maps and i was investigating on how to do it and you see how i have like two two data assets here right and they're basically the same thing, but I just changed this name, right? Well, to do this, to basically change this from a find to now just a get, like in here, we're just doing a get and we're just getting back this data. So basically, this is not a map anymore inside of here, and this is just a single variable. And we can see all these single variables here, right? But now this gives us like the option to copy and paste these. So if I want to duplicate this and call this um, a building, let's say a wall, for example, and we swap this to a wall, right? Instead of just a building, we want maybe a wall in our game. Well, now we copy and paste it. So in order to handle something like this, we actually can just do a few changes and it should just work the same way. So instead of loading one data asset as an entire map of all the things that we want, what we're going to do is just load the data assets themselves into the game. So to do that, we actually need a game instance is the most appropriate place to probably do this. And so the little script that I put together here should give you a good idea of how it should work. So there's this node get asset registry, and that's where all of our data assets are loaded into. And you can check using get all assets and that'll get all the loaded current loaded assets or unloaded i believe it is loaded or unloaded um, but then we can just loop through those you can do a check you can pull off these pins and just see what what's available here for you to use but basically you can get is asset loaded you can get the class and then we check for that class of the primary data asset and then we can say like get asset we can get the object reference get the display name we can get like a lot of the metadata around it. So basically this is the saying is if we find it from the PDA class, right? We can say it's the PDA interface here. We can cast it to that interface and then we can pull out that data. Now we have all that data available to us here. Now this can be then stored into a map, into our variables here in our game instance, instead of having it in our primary data asset itself. So now we can load up all these data assets and you can see various things that are printed out on the side here for our game. So this gives us a way that we can actually now just copy and paste these data assets to create various items. For example, that's kind of what I was working on here was creating like an item system. And I was like, I needed to copy and paste a bunch of things because a lot of the stuff is very similar and I don't really feel like filling out maps, maps constantly um, to get the same thing. But this should, in theory now, be a way that we can actually load full assets without needing that map. So we can copy and paste. We don't have to worry about uh, other things getting in the way of making it more time consuming and that's kind of what I learned on the the epic games game jam is that I needed a way to just make things faster and I needed to copy and paste a lot of things so this is how I did it and of course like I said it gives you all this metadata you can use with all the assets and then you can say is it a child of this primary data asset and you can just basically go through and just uh you know when you loop through check to see what type of data asset it is and then filter that out create a map of those data assets with the names as your probably keys here and then the values would be whatever this uh primary data asset uh, interface piece would be here so you have a map of names and interfaces and then you can go through and have a list of everything that's loaded uh, that's all i wanted to say for today it was just going to be a small video on this pre basically prerequisite video on what we're going to be doing because the next steps here is to actually move a lot of the logic and a lot of the primary data asset or data assets into uh, gameplay plugins i believe they call and this will be a way of how we can actually basically essentially mod our game you know to uh include other assets that aren't part of the core game so that's all i wanted to say today guys i hope you have a good one and i'll see you in the next one